What's up guys, Trinity Gaming here, and today I'm going to be going over my Sotella Night deck uh, for post new challenges, uh, October ban list. Been meaning to get this deck profile uh, quite some time now, ever since new challenges uh, has, was released. I believe it's been like a month since new challengers, um, but yeah, I just haven't really uh, had the time to record the deck profile, but now that there's a new ban list coming up soon, uh, might as well get this deck out. Before there's any new changes, uh, I don't see uh, Satella Knights getting hit at all. Uh, maybe a few staples um, will get hit, like maybe reinforcements. So the army might go back to two, or I don't know. I honestly I have no idea what's going to happen, but um, yeah, Tell Knights are okay. Uh, nothing will get hit. So let's get on to the deck profile. Uh, still really do enjoy this deck. Uh, I know a lot of people have moved on to Burning Abyss and. Uh, Core ports and of course Shadals. Um, those are probably the three main decks people play. Uh, so Tell Knights probably in the fourth position. I would probably say it's Burning Abyss, uh, Core ports, Shadals, and then uh, Tell Knights. So let's get on to the deck profile. So let's start off with three Denebs. Uh, of course, all Tell Knight monsters get their effects off regardless how they're summoned, and they can only be used once per turn. So we've got Deneb. When it's summoned on the field, you can search out a Telenite monster from the deck to the hand. So, 3 Deneb, very amazing card. Next is 3 Altairs. Uh, Altair, um, when it's summoned on the field, you get to, special, uh, you get to special summon a Telenite monster from the graveyard onto the field in defense mode, but for the rest of the turn, only Telenite monsters can attack. So, if you see summon into something that's not a Telenite monster, you won't be able to attack. So, there's that. Next is 3 Unicolai, uh, Foolish Barrel, 1800 attack, strongest uh, Telenite monster in the main deck. Um, when it's summoned, you get to send a Telenite monster from the deck to the graveyard. So 3 Unicolai, or Unicolai. Uh, 2 Vega, I still like Vega too, now that Triver's out, it's another XC monster for Telenites, so more special summoning for Vega. You normal summon it, special summon the monster from your hand, and then that monster's effect goes off as well. Uh, one Cyrus. Cyrus is the newest one from the challenges. It's an okay card. Uh, it's not good during the beginning of the game, but uh, late game. Once all your once all your Telenite monsters have been sent to the graveyard, you can bring them back, uh, shuffle them into the deck, get to target five Telenite monsters from the deck, shuffle them back in there, and then you get to draw a card. So it's a pretty much like a Pot of Avarice and a uh, Degasso Emerald. Uh, now we got a uh, Telenite uh, Procyon or Procon. If this card is summoned, uh, you get to send one to the right monster from the hand to the graveyard and get to draw a card. So that'll do it for the monster lineup for Tether Knights. Next, we got three reinforcements of the army. We're searching out for the Tether Knight monsters. Your three extra Denebs. So that's pretty much uh, six Denebs in the deck. So three reinforcements. Three Mystical Space Typhoon, really amazing card to have. Destroy those cool ports, destroy back row. Um, yeah, three MSTs. Next is one pot of duality. I'm only using one right now. I like it at one. I know uh, for consistency, you want to use two. I wouldn't use three, but um, yeah, I like it at one for now. Um, one Raigeki. Uh, card comes in handy every now and then. It, does, it hasn't really had much of an impact since it came off the ban list, but it's just a really nice card to destroy your, uh, all your opponent's monsters on the field. Um, Soul Charge, bring back those Telenite monsters, for Xyz, summons. I'm starting to use Skybridge again. Uh, pretty nice card. Uh, you can switch out during the battle phase and you can bring back another monster and then that monster can also attack. So, uh, One Book of Moon. Book of Moons, Book of Moon, always a nice card to have. So that'll do it for the spells. For the traps, we got three uh, Satella Nova Alphas, uh, Solemn Judgment for Teller Knights, amazing card. One of the best traps still in the game. Um, yeah, nothing much to say, just Alphas, just a really good card. Uh, two Phoenix Chain. Um, now that Triver's out, um, Triver's Effect can return these cards to the hand and you can reuse them, so really do like Two Fiendish. Uh, two Call of the Haunted. I don't have three, but I would yeah, use three. Uh, you know, three is pretty much mandatory for Teller Knights. 
uh, two uh, wiretap, uh, more uh, trap negation for this card, so really amazing card, wiretap. Two dust tornadoes, uh, your two extra MSTs, destroy cool port, destroy back row. Really do like two dust tornadoes because, you know, five MSTs is just too good. Uh, one compulse, uh, you know, target that one star on, your field, on the field and return it back to the hand. One break two scale, uh, only one because I'm running two Venus, so those, those are my other two uh, effect negation cards. Uh, I kind of like it I, like that. Uh, two Venus, one break through. Uh, one solo morning, you know, solo morning, really good card. Torrential Tribute, uh, another really amazing card. Um, not too much people play this, but uh, it is good against uh, clipboards. And then well, here's my other tech card, I guess, for um, pretty much like my third Call of the Haunted uh, Oasis of the Dragon Souls. Uh, it's pretty much like a Call of the Haunted, so that the monster that you target from the grave is special summon in defense mode rather than attack mode, and it becomes a warm type. So that'll do it for the main deck. 40 card deck. Extra deck. Um, don't have two other extra deck cards. Uh, this is just what I have for now on me. Uh, two uh, Stellar Knight um, Driver, newest one from New Challengers, really amazing card. When it's Xyz Summon, all the cards on the field are returned to the hand other than himself. So he stays out on the field, easy 2100 damage directly to your opponent. And of course, you can uh, detach your material and make your opponent send one random card from their hand to the graveyard. And if it's sent to the graveyard while it has a material still, um, you can special summon a Stellar Knight Monster from the grave. You can also bring him, bring himself back as well. Uh, one Deltros, um, target a card on the field and destroy it. Uh, Deltros takes three level four lights, and Triver takes three level four Teller Knight monsters. So Triver actually has to be uh, Teller Knight monsters. Uh, one Dark Rebellion Sea Dragon, just a really nice card. Uh, detach two materials, target one monster on your opponent's side of the field, half its attack, and then the attack at loss is added on to Dark Rebellion. Just a really high powered attack monster. Really do like Dark Rebellion XC Dragon. Uh, 1 1 1. Uh, X Ton Knight. Uh, I only one castle for now. I don't have my other one right now with me, but two castle is just too good in this deck. You know, pretty much most decks that use uh, rank 4s have two castle. So, a 1 Gandiva. Also, a really nice card. Uh, Excalibur just to have another uh, high level, not high level, high attack powered monster. Uh, get it up to 4,000 attack. One Omega. Omega's okay, I guess. Really easy to make in this deck. Uh, Karn Gorgon, uh, Antel Luminescent Knight. Uh, or Antel, I don't know, just Karn Gorgon. Pretty good card. Uh, Cowboy to burn those 800 damage. You know, Cowboy's always a good card to have. And one Ragna Zero. And that'll do it for the main deck, or the whole deck. So thank you guys for watching. Enjoy this video. Check out my channel for more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Uh, tell me what you guys think about the deck profile. Um, any changes I should do. Uh, what you think is going to get hit in the ban list. I don't, I don't know. Just leave any comment down below. Uh, new Teller Knight Monster support is coming out on Secrets of Eternity. I think it's only like three. For now, there might be some exclusive Teller Knight monsters that uh, the OCG didn't get. I highly doubt we'll get something exclusive for Teller Knights, but um, I believe the three new ones are Capella, Rigel, which is the new 1900 Teller Knight monster, and then the new rank 5, uh, Teller Knight Diamond. So we'll be doing an updated deck profile once uh, Secrets of Eternity comes out in January. So I'll see you guys later in the next video, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Alright, later.